Thank you, Jackie. We've got major problems on the roadways through Maryland or Virginia. We have got several different accidents working. We're going to start off with a new crash we just picked up on the 14th Street Bridge mid-span. Really seeing the brake lights there getting reports. That is in the center lane as you head up 395 northbound. We also have got some brake lights on the outer loop. This is going to be near Connecticut, and that is due to a crash that is going to be reported on the left side there. We also have got major problems on 95 in Virginia. Several earlier incidents, disabled vehicles and accidents had lane closures. You've now got backup solid to Dale City, so keep that in mind. Travel lanes reported open, though, through that area. Things are moving slow coming in from 295 northbound and southbound. Route 50 moves in slow as well from Landover and from the Beltway. We're picking up the brake lights along Route 301 as you head into Brandywine northbound, but that earlier railroad gate has been fixed, it looks like, along Route 301. And then we've got fire activity. This is involving both directions of Route 32 in Clarksville at 108. You've got police directing traffic. If you do want more information on any of those crashes or incidents I just mentioned, you can always put it on 103.5 FM once you get in your car. They're going to give you traffic updates on the 8s and when it breaks. Thank you, Jackie. And a new crash on the 14th Street Bridge is causing some major delays on 395 northbound. We can see on a live shot that it is just crawling there, leading in from the 14th Street Bridge. Crash reported in the center lane mid-span. 95 has had major issues as well. We're seeing residual delays leading up from Dale City into Newington, heavier than usual through that stretch. Route 301 running heavy into Brandywine, and then we have new crash activity, or excuse me, fire activity along Route 32 coming through Clarksville. Back to you. Thank you very much, Jackie. And the morning commute is in full swing. We're going to start off with delays along Route 50 near Landover Road. We can see from a shot on News Chopper 7 that you are starting to get that slow going traffic. Typical delays coming inside the Beltway along Route 50 toward 295 or toward New York Avenue, depending on which direction you're headed. We also have got some heavy traffic on the outer loop. This is near Colesville Road. You can see slow go there. All travel lanes are reported open at this time. 66 still has that crash activity on the right shoulder as you come past Sudley Road. So be prepared for delays there. You also pick up near Route 50 in toward the Beltway on 66 uh, eastbound as well. Route 7 at Ashburn Village. Serious delays there eastbound. That is all due to a crash that is in the center lane. You also have some activity on the right shoulder. So maybe use the Dulles Toll Road instead. 270 is seeing typical volume and delays coming through Urbana and then again down toward the lane divide. 295 also seeing those typical delays into the 11th Street Bridge. We picked up a crash along Central Avenue that has the right lane closed. That is going to be eastbound, so outbound toward the Beltway. You're going to run into those delays. And if you do want more information on any of those crashes that I just talked about or any of those delays that you need heads up about, you can always put it on 103.5 FM WTOP. Once you get in your car, they're going to give you traffic updates on the 8th and when it breaks. Thank you very much, Jackie. The usual hotspots are stacking up. We've actually got a live shot to show current conditions. They're coming in along 295, picking up the brake lights for the 11th Street Bridge. And then you also have got heavy, steady traffic northbound coming into the 11th Street Bridge. Route 7 moving very slow eastbound. That is due to a new crash blocking the center lane and right shoulder there near Ashburn Village eastbound. For now, I'll send it back over to you. Thank you very much, Jackie. And we're just seeing I-70 eastbound slammed through Howard County, Maryland. We're going to start off with a live shot where we can see current conditions. Traffic just sitting still there. We are getting reports that all lanes are closed. Only the right shoulder getting by there just past Route 29. Now we have got trees down all over the area through western Maryland. We also have got trees down on 270. This is going to be southbound. Right lane closed there as you come past 109 toward Clarksburg, causing significant delays. Pothole issues are reported on the outer loop after Kenilworth. Several cars have flat tires, so that's blocking the right lane. Slow go coming in from Brandywine along Route 5 in Maryland. And then Route 4 picked up some pothole damage in the right lane to there, northbound just after Woodyard Road. Not looking too bad on the Beltway, just starting to build through Montgomery County on the outer loop. But we do have a new accident working in Virginia in Leesburg. Car flipped over along Route 7 eastbound just before 15. That has got lane closures in that area. 66 building, typical delays, slow go coming in from Centerville through Fairfax and toward the Beltway. And then we picked up some new problems. This is also a tree down along Route 123 northbound at Fairfax County Parkway. Lanes closed in that area. Burke, Virginia as well. Autry and Jimmy. 
Thank you, Jackie. Lots of issues west and north of the city. We're getting reports that I-70 has been completely shut down. This is going to be in Howard County, Maryland. We can see from this live shot, traffic is just crawling along. This is going to be just after Route 29 in Ellicott City. That is exit 87. We also have significant delays on 270. Slow go there due to trees down in the right lane just after 109, backing up through Urbana. Car flipped over on Route 7 eastbound just before 15, has lane closures through Leesburg, Virginia, and then Route 123 northbound has a tree down as well at Fairfax County Parkway. So that's slowing things down through Burke, Virginia. Back over to you. Okay, thank you, Amanda.